Good morning and welcome to Full Circle Ozarks. Well, good morning, Full Circle Ozarks family. What another beautiful morning. I think what we're going to do today, I want to show you some of the different projects that I got going on. And uh, we will eventually end back up down here on the sawmill shed working on that. But before we get down there, I want to uh, I want to talk about a couple of things. I want to swing the camera around. This right here is our park area. For those that may be new, I would urge you to go back and look at a few different videos. Going back, maybe even two years ago. But uh, that was a lot of brush that was down there by my little mini X. And a little bit further down, it's where when we had our road put in, there was a lot of trees that was down from the road. So we're gonna walk, walk down and look at that. And as you can see, you got a, got a truck coming up the hill with a load of gravel. Got another project going on. So, uh, still a lot going on, still a lot going on. But anyway, let's just walk on down here. I want to show you the remnants of the, I call them the tree road, excuse me, the trees from the road. And uh, we've got some more work to do down here. I had kind of started it. I was kind of waiting until I got the excavator. So I got, the, you know, I got the excavator a little over a month ago now. And uh, it sure is coming in handy to finalize some of the cleanup that I was wanting to do. But I'll show you what, I, what I've done so far down here. I sure do love just walking down here in the park area though. We still have a little bit of cleanup yet to do in the park. This area here, I'm also in the camera around again. As you can see, there's still some pretty good sized rocks that I have out here that I'm not comfortable bush hog in this area here, but I put the landscaping rake on. Bullet or B, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing there? You came running down through there like something was after you, but it's not. Are you okay there? B? What you doing? Okay, back to the story, back to the story. As you can see, again, there's quite a few big, bigger rocks that's down here I've got to get picked up. And, uh, but I, let me show you what I just done a couple afternoons ago. And this wasn't on the, uh, I didn't do a video on this. But this is the remnants of the last logs or trees that was taken out when we had a road put in. So we just had them, the trees laid up here and we're just making firewood out of them now. Got that pile of brush there that will get burnt. I've got to go ahead and get these out and get these cut up. And then right over in that area, there's a few more logs, but that I will bring out and they're, they're seasoned really good. So, matter of fact, some of them are seasoned too much now, and I'm just going to have to burn them. But uh, they definitely will make good good firewood, the majority of them. I look, I look at some of these. It's a nice white oak there. That's going to make some good firewood there. It's all seasoned. But we ended up with a pretty good cotton top snuck up behind me. I turned around. There she was. She's, she startled me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that cotton top. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I was walking, chasing y'all. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you too. 
Uh, showing them your wood pile. Showing them the wood pile there. Yeah. But, but yeah, I, I was just telling them that we had. Uh, I, I spent a few hours down here the other mm -hmm. afternoon. Didn't film it. Getting this cleaned up, or working to get it cleaned up. That's a pile of brush there that I'll move over to the burn pile. Minus the black cat. Minus B, yeah. <laughs> B? She, it was kind of funny. B came just running down. I heard her running. It sounded like a deer almost. <laughs> Looked around, and that was her. But but anyway, yeah, here's the uh, the firewood pile. Man, we got to get on that. And it's still getting, it's still growing. Still growing. It's going to grow some more. And here's the burn pile that I'll be burning here. Uh -huh. get, a, get a good burn day. And that's growing. And that's growing. <laughs> that will grow quite a bit more as I finish cleaning up. Mm -hmm. Again, there's a little a top there. And B is just, she's interested in what we're doing. Aren't you, B? B. What, what you, are you doing? doing? Huh? Where's your bullet at? Where's your brother at? <laughs> So, Look at that thing on the porch they were uh, chasing this morning. What was it? Uh, oh, a locust. Is it a locust? Yeah, it was a locust. Yeah. Yeah, it was a locust. But anyway, we've got uh, got that burn pile that I just showed you right here. Look at that again. I've got to be burning that soon. And something else I want to show you. Let's go over here, Cotton Dot. Okay. Okay, I, I've had another tree to die. And let me show you here, I'm gonna swing the camera around. This big oak tree right here. More firewood. More firewood. I hate, hate to lose that tree, but it's gonna be firewood. What you got there, Cotton Top? Such a pretty girl. <laughs> And then I got another pile of firewood right there. We've got to get cut up. And this right here is mostly, mostly logs. Now, this log right here in the very front, that is about a 20 foot log. There's two of them there. I'm gonna to try to salvage that. I was actually needing one other log for my sawmill shed. So I, I want to try to make an eight by eight uh, piece of timber out of that. So I don't know if that's going to make it or not, but I've got it laying there, we're going to try it. But let me go on up to the sawmill shed and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. Okay, right, right here behind me, I've got some of the beams. Uh, I say some of the beams. I have two of the beams that we're going to, going to be using, at least one of them anyway. Uh, for the sawmill shed once I get the post cut off and I'll I'll show you the sawmill shed here in just a moment and we'll talk about that but let me turn the camera around so I can show you these beams now this first one here is a nice red oak there I believe that one is that uh, a storm took the tree down for that one so we was able to harvest that and that beam is currently, I think, 21, 22 feet long. It's a six by eight, and we're going to uh, going to use that on the front of the sawmill shed. That's the plan, anyway. Now, over here behind this is another beam that I milled out of a utility pole. And uh, I had planned on using that on the back of the sawmill shed, but what I noticed is, right here, let me, let me get down here, there's kind of a soft spot there. Just right there on the corner, there's a little soft spot right there too, where I can press in. So anyway, with that soft spot on that beam there, I'm like, I don't know that I really want to put that on my sawmill yet and have to replace it later on. So that was why I was showing you that, 
that one log down there that I'm going to see if I can mill another beam out of that. If not, I'm going to have to go back to the utility company and uh, see if I can get another utility pole and get something milled up. I got that as an option. But we also got a couple other trees that are standing dead that uh, I could take down and make that last beam for with rather. So that may be that may be an option. So I haven't decided what I want to do. Uh, I've got again I've got several projects in the works, but but anyway, all that to say is I need to come up with another beam for the back of the sawmill shed. And speaking of the sawmill shed, let's head back over there and I'll show you what we've got to do yet. Okay, here is the back of the sawmill shed. This area right here. This opening here from that post there down to that post there that's going to be 18 feet so at the top of these posts here what I will, probably will try to get done today maybe even on this video here I need to cut the top of these posts off so there's going to be a little bit of a process there to get those posts cut off nice and level and the front is going to pretty much mirror that and this this is uh, these posts. If you notice, I've got a lot of these support braces up, holding everything nice and straight. And let's uh, let's see what it's looking like. Nice and straight, still. I like that. Swing around here. I like that one. And then this post over here. These were the last two posts that I put in. That one looks like it settled just a little bit. I will work on that one. This way, it's great. I like that. So all that to say, I've got some, I've got some work to do to get this sawmill shed underway. And I think what we're going to do, we're going to try to get two things accomplished. And uh, we'll just begin to work on them anyway. But I want to get these posts cut off, get my height established. And I probably will go ahead and try to get, get a log milled up. Uh, I only have a couple of hours to work, though, because I've got another commitment on our church property. Uh, we're having some electricity put in on our 19 acres for the, where we attend church at that we have some uh, trails that I put in to, to just go out and walk the trails and just enjoy walking up and down them and place to recreate, place you can just walk and have like a little prayer garden, stop and pray. And uh, I enjoy doing that. So I wanna, I've got a commitment that I've made to go out there the, uh, in a couple hours and, and meet the power company and uh, talk about when we're going to open a, a trench up and get a meter set. So I've got that coming up. So all that to say is got a lot of irons in the fire, but that's okay. But so anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna quit uh, quit rattling for a moment, and we're gonna go grab a few tools and see if we can't mark these posts and at least get a couple of them cut. Also, I'll be right back with you. I do want to point out that I've got created me a place to mount my uh, rotary laser and uh, so I'm going to go get my laser and mount it up there and figure out where to cut these posts off at so that's I spent a little bit of time to the day getting that set up so I got it set up now that I think I can uh, on that post there that's the shortest one so we'll mark that post that one come on around here mark that one and that one so those are the back two posts that we're going to try to get marked today and uh and get those cut so let me go we'll get that laser be right back okay let's get up here and see if we can get this rotary laser mounted and get it turned on Now this Bosch rotary level laser is self-leveling, so I'm going to get it 
kind of where I think it needs to be, which hopefully will be right there. We're going to turn it on and we're going to see if it's going to self level. I'm going to go ahead and get down. I'll be watching for this green light right here to go solid. If I don't get down, just a, a, a little bit of a jump, it will try to, uh, or bump rather, it will try to re-level re itself. Let me see here. I have a green light. Let me move the ladder around to this outside post over here. And I'm going to start there. This is the shortest of the post. So let's see here, how do I want to get up here? Probably about like that. I think that'll work. Okay. This is the receiver. I will turn this on. Hope you can hear that beeping. Right there. I like that. And then I'll take a square and square that off. I like it. I think that's going to work. Let's move on to the next post. Okay, just by climbing this, I've noticed I've got to get still. The laser had to re-level. That was just enough of a bump that it didn't like it. Can y'all hear that beeping? Right there. Okay, got two of the back four. We'll get the other two now. Okay, we'll get post number three marked. There it is. There's that one. That's looking pretty good. Got to figure out a way that I can cut these nice and straight again from this post to the other one. This right here from center of this post to center of that one. It's actually going to be 18 feet and six inches. So, so this post right here, I'll split the difference right down the middle here. And when I set the this beam across, it will set right on the right on these two posts here, and then there'll be another beam that goes out this way. But let's, let's get this other uh, other post marked. Right 
There it is. All four posts are marked. I like that. So, the next step I've got to do, now that I've established the height here, and this is going to be a lean-to, kind of coming down this way at that angle. The posts on the front are a little bit taller. This is a 12-foot span. So I've got to decide on the actual pitch that I need to, to go 12 feet. Again, I'm not worried so much about a snow load. Uh, we don't get that much snow here. And it is going to be a sheet metal roof. So I want as much height as I can right up here. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how that's going to work out. I'll, I'll do a little bit of math, figure out where I'm going to mark the, next, the, the front four posts. Then we'll get this thing, the post cut off. Okay, I'll give my uh, laser a chance to re-level again because I bumped it climbing up the pole. There it goes. What I decided to do, I think I want to have a 112 pitch. At least I'm going to kind of mark it and look at it and see if that's what I want. Uh, ideally, I want as much height here on the front. So this is where I'll be loading the, my logs from. Let me see what a 112 might look like. First thing I'll do is mark. Okay, I've got a mark there. Now I'm going to go up 12, 12 inches and see what I've got. That would be right there, 12 inches up. But what I've got to figure out, i got to look at my shortest pole and make sure make sure I got uh, got enough height to, to make it a, a 112. By 112, what I mean, I cut it up this, the front of the shed will be up 12 inches taller than the, the back of the shed. So that will give me a nice little lean. So for every foot, I'm gonna have an inch drop and uh, that's gonna be for the metal roof. So let me, t let me get back and I'm gonna set the, kind of reset the, the laser on this line that I just marked and then make sure that I have enough uh, uh, height on the post to be able to do that. Otherwise, I may have to drop it down an inch or so. We'll see. Okay, what I've done, I marked that post down there. I think that's the shortest one, possibly this one, but I want to make sure now that this post is going to work, and it is. You should be able to hear that beep. So that's going to work. I'm happy with that, guys. So we're going to end up with a 112 pitch. One inch for every foot. Let me get these other two posts marked, and uh, we'll be ready to start cutting these off. Perfect. I like it. One more post to mark. Perfect. Right there. Okay. And that, my friend, has got all the posts marked. Now we're ready to cut them off. One down. I think what I want to do though, I was really too close to the material. So I think I'm gonna either get another ladder or get the tractor and the basket. And that way I could I have better control of the saw. I felt comfortable doing that, but I want to make sure it's as straight as possible. That one, that one I had to kind of go at it twice, but uh I think, think it's going to be t totally straight enough, but not as straight as I really want it to be. So 
I need to be able to get up at a little, at a little bit different angle, so I'm going to come up with something else on that. I'll be right back with you. Okay, we're going to try a little bit different approach here. We'll see how this here works. I like that. Let me move my ladder on the other side. Yeah, that's going to work good. It's going to leave a little bit, bit right there in the middle, but that allows me to cut a straight line. Then I'll take my handsaw and finish off in the middle. So, folks, I'm not going to bore you. Let me come down and I'll talk to you. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with me going up and down the ladder, cutting those off, but I did find something that worked by using the skill saw and putting me a board up there to keep it nice and straight. I'll, I like the way that's looking there. So I think that's the method I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna get the rest of these posts cut off and I'll be back with you and give you an update. That, my friend, was the last post. Let me take this bracket here off and I'll come down and talk to you. Well, friends, let me give you another update. All the tops of the post are cut off. I was glad to get that done. And now we're literally at the place. I'll be ready to set the beams across. I'll set, probably set the front beam first. And then I still need to mill a, a, another beam for the back. So I'm gonna try to get that done. And so that's probably gonna be the next video. I need to find a, find a beam and get that, get that milled for the back. But anyway, we're making good, good progress. I'll leave these braces up that you see until I get the, uh, the beams on across here, the front and the back, and then I get some rafters up. Then I'll take all these braces here off. But anyway, folks, I do want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule watching our videos. I hope they're uh, a little bit entertaining. I'm not an entertainer by no means, but I, I do enjoy sharing information. And so this is not a how-to channel, but this is how we done it here at Full Circle Ozarks just to get a sawmill shed built. And uh, so we've got a quite a bit of work done, but we've just completed a quite a bit of work. Getting the post in the ground was an uh, interesting task. We got that done. We got the post cut to lint. We'll get those beams set here in, the, in the, one of the upcoming videos. But anyway, again, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. Take care, God bless, and we'll see you again on the next Full Circle Ozarks.